Hey guys, I want to review my tool loadout, what tools I use most often, working as an electrical maintenance technician. I just want to review five or six things that come up most often. As an electrical tech, generally speaking, I usually just throw a few items in my pockets. And uh, now I work in a dirtier plant, so I have a little tool pouch that I use, but let's get to it. I'll show you what I use. First tool that I use is a small flathead screwdriver. I generally use an insulated small flathead screwdriver that's good for you know, terminals, doing wiring work. This one right here is the Klein 4-in-1. It's a good one option because you have a small flat blade uh, option right there for terminal strips. Flip that over and this little Phillips is perfect for thermocouple connectors. So if you're doing instrumentation, calibrating thermocouples, that comes in handy. And if you pull that out, flip it over. This super tiny flathead is good for um, tuning potentiometers. Maybe you have like a pressure sensor, pressure transducer with a little spot to spin a potentiometer to change the calibration. It's good for that. The reason that I like the Allen Bradley 4-in-1 is because it's got this little spinny guy on there. So if you're working on a lot of terminals, you just press it up against your hand and spin. That's a good one. So you want to either use a 4-in-1 or you can just get a small insulated flat blade screwdriver. Second most commonly used tool is a bigger flat blade screwdriver. Other than my 4-in-1, I always use insulated just so I can be safe on the job. This brand, Weha, is a good brand because it's very hard metal. It's, in my opinion, it's the best electrician screwdriver you can get. You're going to use that flat blade pretty much to open up panels and, you know, wherever you need a flathead screwdriver. You need a Phillips as well, but this big flat blade comes in very handy. Uh, when I did carry my tools in my pocket, I would carry this, 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 and this. So number three, let's go with a wire stripper. Pretty self-explanatory. Depending on if you're an electrician or an electronics tech, electrical tech, the technicians typically work with smaller wires. So you wanna get something that goes all the way down to 20 gauge wire. Most of your wiring is gonna be 16 gauge, some 12. I personally prefer the banana handle style like that. Some of them have a little crimper in here where you can crimp on butt splices. This isn't that type. This is just the cheap one that I got, but I'll put a link for a nice banana handle style wire stripper in the description. Number four, you need a crescent wrench. I personally like the crescent wrench because it's adjustable, it's quick. If you're doing electrical work, you don't need anything really strong. You're mostly just doing pneumatics and stuff like that. So get you a crescent wrench. If you want, you know, standard wrenches, you get 9 16 and 5 8 Those are gonna come up the most often working with like um, pneumatic lines. I just find that uh, 5 8 9 16 are the most common fittings that I've run into in the past. So number four, get you a wrench. Number five, I'm gonna go with tongue and groove pliers just like this just like this. Obviously they come in handy for taking stuff apart. Nipix, Nipix brand is the best brand. It's got the little push button. This is a generic Nipix. I am not going to recommend this. This was like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, Nipix brand pliers are like 30 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. The button's very smooth. You know, push the button, slides into place. You can get to crank it. Let's see here. Number six, get you a little flashlight. I think the batteries are dead on this one. Number seven, multimeter. Do not bring a multimeter like this into a factory. People will laugh at you. This is the one I use at home. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you zoom in, you can get, you can read current. This part's called an amp clamp. Put that around a wire while it's running. You can monitor how much current's going through the wire. That little squiggly line is AC volts. You can measure the voltage on something. This has zero. That little flat line means DC. This is an auto ranging, so you can see the range goes automatically down to millivolts. If it was 24 volts DC, it would auto range and read in normal volts. This right here, ohms, is measuring um, resistance, looking for short circuits. 
Oh, hello. That's a dead short right there. It should make the sound. It didn't. Let's see if we change the functionality. There you go. Short circuit. Need to get you a nice meter. Um, generally speaking, your company's going to buy that for you. If they don't buy it for you, I would suggest getting Fluke brand. You need a nice multimeter with an amp clamp. If you're going to be doing heavy instrumentation work and a lot of calibrations, you're going to need to get yourself a Fluke calibrator. You're also going to, something that I would suggest is looking into a Fluke 700 series. It's a 4 to 20 milliamp simulator with a clamp that it can actually measure um, Mill, or not, milliamps without interrupting the circuit. So those are pretty cool. We'll post some pictures of them on the screen. Look into them if you want. Let's see what else we got. That's about it. Get you a notepad and a pen. That'll get you started. Last two things that you are going to need, but you don't need to necessarily carry them with you. Get you some nice Allen wrenches. You want to get the type with this ball end. That way, if you can't access the bolt from a straight angle so you, your angle you can still get it with that ball end and last but not least you're going to need some socket wrenches here's some cheap socket wrenches they're surprisingly good this set was forty dollars at harbor freight believe it or not it works get you an extender with that so just to reiterate your main tools you need a small flat blade large flat blade, small crescent wrench, and wire strippers. If you have those, you're gonna be able to do 90% of the work, get you a nice multimeter. Most companies will buy your multimeter for you, but if they don't, I would suggest uh, Klein brand. I don't know, I might have said the wrong thing earlier, but Klein is a good affordable but dependable brand. You wanna have an amp clamp on that meter, get you some Allen keys, and you should be good to go. So that's my tool loadout, that's what I use. I got this nice little pouch here. You can clip it right on your belt. Usually I don't wear pouches, but I'm working in a really dirty factory right now. So I like using the pouch so I don't have to dig through my pockets. Gets everything super dirty. I got this cool little pouch here. So I can just go out, grab what I need. Usually it's the big flat blade or the little four in one. You know, just throw a couple items in there and uh, you know, so that way when I'm working, and I always know where it's at, if I need a flat blade, I just grab it. I like this pouch, it doesn't bump on my legs, so. If you guys asked for it, there's my tool loadout as an electrical technician. I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in being an electrical technician, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.